Here's how to read your engine trouble code if your check engine light is on in a 1988 to 1995 GM vehicle. So this is a, a GM truck. So there's this connector here, which you'll use to read the codes. You'll want to take a paper clip or some other kind of metal jumper and stick it in between this one and this one. So there you go. Too bad this video isn't in 3D. Whoa. So the upper right ones you want to jump together like that. Get a pen and a piece of paper to write down the numbers that you're about to see. So we turn the ignition on, it's going to start flashing and it'll flash like this. So watch this. Ready? One, one, two. That means 12. So 12 means, hey, hello. So 12, and then the one, one, two so it'll flash it three times and now it's going to give me the trouble code one one two three one one two three so that's 13 is the trouble code there's another 13 and then one one two now it's back to 12. So 12 is the starting and ending. So it flashed me 12 three times, it flashed me 13 three times, and then it flashed me 12 three times. So 12 doesn't mean there's anything wrong. So this means the trouble code that I have is number 13. So now I have to look it up in the book and see what exactly that means. Uh, if you want to clear out the trouble codes, if you remove power from the, the engine control module for 30 seconds, then it'll clear the light. Probably the easiest way would be to disconnect your battery because in, in most cars it's hidden over here. In this case, it's behind the uh, glove box. So this is the part of the video where you probably want me to tell you what every single code means. But the problem is it changes with the different model of car and even like if it has fuel injection, if it has carburetor, depending on what kind of transmission it has. So the codes are going to be different. In this case, though, the code 13 of, in this book appears to be pretty consistently an oxygen sensor. So, so the next step would be Replace the oxygen sensor, check the wiring to it first, make sure the wiring is good. If the wiring is good, then replace the oxygen sensor. And then start it up, drive it around, and see if the light comes back on or not.